What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed, geneactivated.ca. Welcome to day 12 of the Ramadan at home fat loss workout series. Hope you guys are doing amazing. This is day 12 now. We're gonna pick up the intensity a little bit. I'm gonna teach you one or two new exercises today and I'm also gonna change the variations for some of them. So for today, you're gonna need a towel. Okay, I'll explain later. And you're gonna need a stool and you may or may not need a dumbbell depending on if you have one or if you have a weight that you can use to make the workout a little bit more harder. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start with something that you've done previously, but we're gonna reintroduce it. It's called twisting mountain climbers. So we're gonna do three sets of 50 twisting mountain climbers, okay? The first 25, we're gonna do slow, and the next 25, we're gonna do fast. So with twisting mountain climbers, they're very similar to regular mountain climbers. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knee to the opposite elbow, and then knee to the opposite elbow, and you're gonna twist. And that's gonna utilize your core as well, as well as do some cardio for you. So let's get right into it. Get onto the floor, get your hands into push-up position. And then the first 25, we're gonna go slow, and the next 25, we're gonna go fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now we do the same thing where we pick up the pace. 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Good job, guys. So that's how you do the twisting mountain climbers with a little bit more intensity. Let's take 30 seconds to breathe. So I had, a, I had a question about the mountain climbers and that it was hurting the lower back a little bit for some of the individuals. So if that's the case, what you wanna do is you just wanna raise your butt up a little bit higher, okay? And it shouldn't hurt your back. So let's take one more deep breath and then let's get into it. I'm gonna show you from this side now, second set. First 25 slow, then we pick up the pace. One, two, three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Try to get your knee all the way to your elbow. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 20, one, two, three, four, Five, let's pick it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. Beautiful. Okay, good job. That was a little tiring, but that's okay. We're gonna keep breathing through it. We got one more set. You're almost there. Good job, guys. Let's focus on the breathing to recover in through your nose, out through your mouth. You should be really feeling this in your core too. Okay, let's go, last one. You're doing amazing. Keep pushing guys. And let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Keep breathing, 16, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five. Pick it up, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 50. Beautiful, okay. Good job, so three sets done. Let's take a minute, we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So this is something that we did last week, it's called lateral lunges. So I taught you how to do last week, we did three sets of eight. Today we're gonna do a little bit more, we're gonna do three sets of 10 per leg, but if you're comfortable, you can hold the dumbbell at the front to make the intensity a little bit more. 
and make it a little more challenging for yourself. So if you have a dumbbell at home, you can start with five or 10 pounds or 15 pounds, not a big deal, and try to use that, okay? You really only need like three to four deep breaths and you should be able to bring your best self back down to normal like I just have. Okay, so the first set I'm gonna show you without any weights and then the second set we're gonna add some weight, okay? If, you, if you'd like. So again, let's start with this side. We're gonna step away, right? Take the hips towards the wall behind us, push off with that leg and come back, okay? Step, take the hip back, knee towards the side, Push from this heel, come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, beautiful. Let's go to the other side. So guys, when you step, you wanna make sure your feet are in one line, okay? You don't want the foot to be ahead or behind. Hip back, push through, one. Two, you also wanna make sure your feet are straight, pointing towards the front. Three, four, five, six, keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a 30 second break. Now we're going to add some weight. Okay, so if you have a dumbbell at home, great, you can use that. If you don't, it's okay, not a big deal. You can use any other type of weight if you want to. You can even hold a book if you want, right? Like a heavy book. <laughs> so, you know, one of those books that you don't ever read that you got from school. So you could use those as well, a big textbook, but it's not a big deal if you don't have it. You'll still get a good workout without it. So let's breathe. And I'm gonna get my dumbbell. Okay, so I have my dumbbell now. What I wanna do is grab it like this, okay? Kinda cup the dumbbell like this at the top and keep the dumbbell close to your chest at all times, okay? Just against your chest. So then what we're gonna do is same thing. Step, hips back, and push. One, two, three, four, five, beautiful. Six, seven, eight, beautiful guys. Nine, you're doing amazing. One more. And 10. Okay, let's go to the other side now. Ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Make sure you keep your chest up, okay? Don't drop your chest as you go down. You'll mess up your back. Seven. We don't want that. Eight. Nine. And 10. Beautiful. So that was your first, second set. Let's breathe a little bit, okay? So you must have found that a little bit more challenging, but you'll be okay. You can open the rosa soon, okay? About an hour and a half left, and you're getting thirsty, and you're hungry, but it's gonna be worth it in a bit. <sighs> Speaking of thirsty, uh, I, get, I got a lot of questions about how do I you know, stay hydrated in Ramadan? How do I uh, not feel so thirsty? So I've actually released a video for that as well, so make sure you check that out in the description below, or just search for it, how to avoid getting thirsty in Ramadan, okay? so. Let's get into this third set. Again, hold it like this. And if this was too light, you can go with a heavier dumbbell if you'd like. 
push, one. Focus on your form. Keep your chest tall, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side now. Last time. Push. One. Two. Three. Beautiful. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, very nice, okay. Let's take a break now, one minute. Let's put the dumbbell away, okay? And then we'll be back. Okay, so now you put away your dumbbell. We're gonna take a minute break. We're gonna breathe. You guys are doing amazing. You should be starting to sweat a little bit. Any type of leg work that you do, it turns burn, burn, tends to burn a lot of calories and you will start to sweat a little bit like I am, which is great. Right, working a little hard for you guys. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a new exercise for your abs, okay? This is called a hollow body hold, okay, on the floor. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get onto the floor, okay? It's kind of like a V-sit that I've taught you before, but it's a little bit harder. So the main thing with this is the objective is you have to keep this area, your lower back, flat on the floor, okay? It cannot come off the floor or have anybody, any, even a little bit of an arch, okay? So you do is you keep this flat on the floor and you wanna keep your hands a little bit away from the floor and your feet a little bit away from the floor this much, okay? You're pretty much making like a little uh, arc with your whole body, like a smooth, like pretty much like look at a banana and put it upside down like this, the way like a boat looks, like that. So you're here, right, a little bit off the floor and a little bit off the floor, just like this. You see how much I'm shaking? So we're gonna hold this for 15 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, ooh, 15. Beautiful guys, so let's take a 30 second break. Now you must have noticed that my stomach was shaking quite a bit which is a good sign that your core is working, but you notice that my, black, my back was flat against the floor, okay? So that cannot have any arch in it. If you're starting to feel the arch, you'll start to feel a little pull from your lower back and that's not good, so you don't want that. So if that happens, just put your knees down, you put your feet down and just keep your hands up, okay? So let's go for the second set now. Same thing, we're gonna do it for 15 seconds. And so back is flat, right? Sometimes to flatten your back, just bring your knees up, okay? And then, <clears throat> right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Very nice. This one's quite challenging, guys. So if you're having trouble, just do this. Just put your feet far as, as you can like this and just keep your hands up like this, okay? And then you can raise one leg and then you can raise the other leg and that'll make it a little bit easier, just a quick little variation for how to make this exercise a little bit easier. So we're taking a break now. We have about 15 seconds left. One more set, you're doing great. Ready? Let's go. Back against the wall, flat, a ground, sorry, and we're up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and whew, 15. Good job, guys. That was tough. So, very nicely done. Let's take a break now. We're going to take a minute break and then we're going to do. 
glute bridges, okay, to help you build that nice big butt or just strengthen your butt as well. So for the ladies out there, I know you're gonna be interested in this and for guys as well, this is a very good exercise for you to relieve any low back pain that you have because your butt's gonna get stronger at the same time. If you're somebody that sits a lot and has an office job, this is a crucial exercise for you so that you can start working your leg muscles and your butt muscles and, and not have such a stationary uh, like lower half, right? So it's a great exercise for that as well, especially if you're an office worker. So take about 15 more seconds and we're gonna get going. Today we're gonna do three sets of 25, okay, glute bridges. Gonna make sure we squeeze really hard at the top, come down nice and controlled, and then squeeze back up again, okay? And again, if you'd like to use a dumbbell here and make it a little bit harder for yourself, you can, you can put the dumbbell on your, on your hips, okay? Okay, so let's get into it. We're gonna do three sets of 25 glute bridges. So let's get on the floor. Okay, to try to get your knees, or your heels as close as possible to your butt, Ideally, they should be right underneath your heel, uh, underneath your knee. And then we're gonna push up, squeeze, and come back nice and slow and controlled. One, two, three, four, very nice. Five, good. Six, beautiful. Seven, good. Eight, good. 9, 10, 11, 12. The idea is to squeeze for a second at the top. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It should start to burn now for you. 19, that's okay, we got a few more, six more, 20, let's go, come on, squeeze. One, 22, 23, 24, one more. Ah, and 25, very nice guys. So that's your first set. Now we're gonna take a 30 second break and then we're gonna do the second set. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a dumbbell now because I want it to make it a little bit more intense. So if you have a dumbbell at home, go ahead and use that. If not, no problem. You can continue doing it the way we're doing it right now, okay? Okay, so we and got the dumbbell now. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the second set. Let's move up a little bit. Okay, good. So now, you wanna keep the dumbbell right on your hips here, okay? Again, get your, get your legs back as much as you can. And then push up, squeeze, and back. You can hold on to the dumbbell. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Very nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Beautiful. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, beautiful, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you guys are doing great, we got five more, come on, one, push, two, very nice, Three, almost there, you got it, come on. Four, and squeeze, hold, five. Very nice, guys, second set done. Moving on to the third set. So, this was quite light for me, so I'm gonna take a little bit heavier dumbbell for my last set, okay? So again, if you have a few dumbbells at home, you can increase the intensity as you feel. So for me, that was a little light, we're gonna go up a little bit, but for you, if you wanna keep it the way it is, that's totally fine as well, okay? So we got about 10 more seconds, I'm gonna get another dumbbell, and then we're gonna move on. So, this is a 25 pound dumbbell. Should be a little bit more challenging, and we should be ready to go. Ready? One, good. Push, two, very nice. Three, four, 
Five. You guys remember to push through your heels, okay? Not your toes. Six. Remember to drive through your heels. Seven. Eight. You're squeezing your butt as hard as you can at the top. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good. Twelve. Thirteen. Beautiful. Fourteen. Very nice. Fifteen. Great. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Should be feeling a burn now. Twenty. We got five more. Come on. Push. One. Two. Very nice. Three. Keep going, guys. Four. Nice big squeeze at the top. Hold. And five. Beautiful. That's your third set. Very nice. Let's take a minute break. Now we're going to get to that stool. Like I mentioned, to get the stool in the beginning. So we're going to get a stool. We're going to do tricep dips again. And today we're going to make it a little bit intense again, a little bit harder for you. We're going to do it with one leg up, okay, at a time. So we're going to do three sets of 15, okay? 12 to 15. If you can do 12, no problem. But we're going to do it one leg at a time to make it a little bit more intense because you're going to be using your own body weight a little bit more, okay? So, all right. So let's take one or two breaths. Breathe in. Okay, one more time. So, let's do the triceps again. Again, last time we went over putting our hands on the side, which is more comfortable for most people. So put your hands on the side, we're gonna keep our legs straight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep one leg up in the air this time, okay? This is gonna make it a little bit harder for you. One, again, keep your butt as close as possible to the bench. Three, go down and push. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and beautiful guys, 15. So that's your first set, let's breathe. So if that was a little too challenging for you, no problem, keep both legs down, keep doing it the way you are doing it before and slowly build up the tolerance to get one leg up and that'll be able to make it a little bit more difficult for you. So. We continue to breathe, we're gonna do two more sets. Now we're gonna switch the legs. So first we did this leg, now we're gonna put the other leg up, okay? One more deep breath, guys. Okay, let's go, you're doing amazing, ready? So let's get the other leg up this time, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, push, and eleven, twelve. We got three more, fourteen, and fifteen. Beautiful, guys. That's how you do the second set. Now we're gonna take a little break again, three, thirty seconds, do the final set, okay? So let's get up for this one and breathe. So you get full range, full range of our breath. We're almost done, guys. One more set, then I take you through the stretches today. You're really gonna enjoy the stretches today. It's for your neck and for your traps, especially if you're someone that you know works in the office a lot, it's gonna be great for you. So now we're gonna do the last set. So for this one, we're gonna switch our legs at uh, six, okay? Six to seven, we're gonna switch our legs. Let's do that seven. That'll make it even 14. Okay, so let's start with this one. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Almost there. Come on. Fourteen. One more. Beautiful. Fifteen. Very nice guys, that's your workout for the day. Good job, you made it, you made it, you got it to the end. Now we're gonna do the stretch, so we're gonna take a little break. I'm gonna put my stool away and then we're gonna get right into it. 
So this is where you need that towel that I talked about, okay? So go ahead and get a towel if you don't have one right now around you, and then we'll continue when you come back, okay? All right, okay, so we're back. So now let's take a minute break. I got my towel, okay? And we're gonna continue with the stretch. The stretches, so this is for your neck, it's for your trap as well. It's a great stretch. If you're having some neck pain or some trap pain, it's good to release that, especially if you do a back workout or a shoulder workout, right? Sometimes your neck gets tense. If you're someone that is working a lot on the computer all the time, it's a great stretch for that too, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna take the towel, right? You wanna kinda crumple it up like this so that it's long, okay? And then place it on the floor, okay? This exercise ideally works really well with the resistance band because I know most people don't have resistance bands at home. I'm gonna make you use a towel. The whole idea of this is you're gonna step on the towel, okay? And keep a nice tension in the towel, okay? Not so much that it's pulling you down, but to the point where you're gonna hold on to this with your hand here, right? And th this should pull your arm down, okay? Just this for a lot of people is gonna be very relieving. It's gonna start to stretch out the trap and the neck muscle for them, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you at a bit of an angle so you can see what's going on. So right here, we're gonna step on it, right? So now when I stand straight, I get a little pull. This towel is pulling my arm down. Now from here, from this position, what I want you to do is, I want you to grab your hand, okay? Put it on the side of your forehead here, your temple, and I want you to drive your elbow down this way, right across your body, okay? So from here, you can take a deep breath in and you're gonna pull. And see, my neck is kinda tight, so I'm stuck here, but you, you might be able to go lower. And you're just gonna breathe in here for about 10 to 15 seconds. And you start to see a nice release in your neck and your trap muscles here. So once 15 seconds are done, then what I want you to do, instead of putting your hand here, I want you to put your hand at the back of your temple, not uh, of your back of your head, not directly behind, but at an angle at, a, at the corner right here of your head. And then I want you to go in line with your elbow. So if you're putting it at the corner, go in line like an, at an angle like here this way, okay? Pull down this way. Instead of straight this way, now you're gonna come almost in line with your chest this way where your nipple is, okay? So you're here, you're gonna pull down this way. And now you're gonna get a bigger stretch in your back and in your, in your neck and your traps. And every time you breathe out, you'll notice I go lower. You see that? So that releases more and more of my neck muscle, my trap muscle. This is the position that most people are gonna find the most relieving, okay? And then the last position that I like to go through it is that putting your head directly behind, your hand directly behind your head and pulling your neck straight down this way. So I kind of hang out there in like 10 to 15 seconds on this side. Now already this side is feeling really loose, really nice and light. Now we're gonna do the other side. Right here, you step on your towel, make sure it's pulling you down, and pull across. Okay, now we're gonna turn the head this way and pull this way. So feel free to hang out in these positions a little longer if you feel the need to. I'm just doing it quickly just to show you. And then now we're gonna go straight ahead behind her head and go straight down. That's it guys. That's my number one stretch for any sort of tight neck and trap muscles, especially if you have any neck pain, especially if you are at an office setting or just working out really, really hard. And that's your day 12 completed. Thank you for watching, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next time for day 13. If you get a chance, please do share these videos with your family and friends. That would be a great way to pay me back. And I'll see you guys next time.